We are draining a ganglion cyst from this patient's foot. Watch how much fluid comes out of this. So this is a large ganglion cyst that was on the side of this patient's foot. You can see it's multilobular. There are several different areas of outpouching of fluid. And you're going to see here, we illuminate it with a light. And that makes it transluminate, or we can see that the light actually goes through the cyst and that tells us it's not a fatty tissue or any type of mass that's not housing fluid. So the light um, kind of identifies the fact that it's a ganglion cyst and that it's not some other type of mass. So now you can see we are injecting it. This is a local anesthetic agent. We are putting lidocaine and marcaine in and this also has a little bit of epinephrine which will help to kind of stop some bleeding, the epinephrine constricts the capillaries around the cyst and it helps reduce some of the bleeding during this procedure. All right, so once it's numb, we stick an 18 gauge needle right into the cyst and we use a larger bore needle, which is an 18 gauge needle because it's going to be more, it's, it's just basically larger and allows that thick fluid to go through the needle. So you can see we're drawing out approximately three milliliters of thick viscous synovial fluid and that's what's in a ganglion cyst it's an outpouching of fluid from either a tendon sheath or a joint capsule and you can see all that thick fluid it's going into a medium that we're going to send off to a pathologist so we can just confirm that it's a ganglion cyst and it's nothing bad so here we're going back in with that needle we try to go in through the same uh, hole which i was able to do and see how thick it is. We're getting a little bit of blood there. There'll, there'll be some bleeding. And again, we tried to stop that with the epinephrine, which is the vasoconstrictor. So again, we got about three more milliliters. So now we're up to a total of six milliliters of fluid, and that's a lot. And see how thick it is? It's going back into this container. And you can see it's so thick that if we use a smaller needle to make it less painful, you wouldn't be able to draw it through. So watch, we're going to go back into that same needle hole. Uh, so I'm just trying to push around, there we got it. We're going into the same hole, going into the cyst, not getting as much fluid this time, well, but there it comes. Sometimes it's a little bubbly, that's normal. We're gonna drop it back into our container, sending that all off the pathology. Looks a little indented, and we're going to actually push now and see if we can express any more synovial fluid out. It actually looks indented, but it's not. We did some x-rays to make sure this wasn't any type of bony lesion. Oh, there we go. A ton of ganglion cyst fluid coming out of there. And that's what we want to do. So if we don't get it all with the needle or when we're done, we'll do this just to make sure that we've expressed all of that fluid out of there. See all that redundant tissue? Now, typically something this large, I'll let the patient know it's probably going to fill back up, but we'll still try to, to drain it just to make sure it's a ganglion cyst. And sometimes these will go away. And you're going to see in this video, after we drain it, we're going to inject a steroid and this steroid can help to stop the cells from producing fluid. And sometimes the steroid works, sometimes it doesn't. And most likely in a case like this where it's so large, and this patient actually did come back and we will have to excise it. So here we go now with a smaller needle, we're going back into that same hole and we're going to inject some steroid to try to shrink it. Now we're gonna put a dressing on, we're folding up a four by four so that we can put some compression to try to stop that cyst from filling back up. So I hope you like this video. Please make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. I have more surgical videos. I have more educational videos coming. If there's anything in particular you want to see, drop a comment below and let me know. If there's any questions about this or if you think you have a cyst, please comment below with a question and we'll see you up for the next video.